Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Um, I know not too long ago we spoke about the honey badger. We spoke about the tong for cutting your bultong. Um, yeah, bultong, it's extremely delicious. If you live in a different country, Google a recipe, make your own, hang it above your bathtub or something for a week preferably in the winter when there's no flies and yeah try it but i know in most countries they have like south african shops now because of all the expats living there um get yourself some bultong the stuff is delicious okay um actually what i want to do today is this is not anything new this is just an update on something we spoke about the drop point blade and we spoke about the uh, tongue with the flat blade Okay, um, sheep's foot, I think will be the best description for this. Anyway, um, we spoke about the flat blade and the belly. Belly, great for working on a surface. This one, great for working um, straight from uh, a position with your hands. Okay, um, also finger choil, no finger choil. Now, both of these knives are fantastic. Both of them have their place. Utilitarian, this one is better because when you cut, you have a bigger edge cutting what you want to cut. But if you want something like a utility knife, this one with the point down, it's got an extremely acute tip there and it will cut open packages, do things like that wonderfully. Not that nice for food prep because you will um, stop yourself before you get to the edge. You understand? It won't, yeah, you don't have that belly to really do cooking work with. Now, if there was only something that would fit in the middle. Okay, both of these are large. Um, if there was only something that would fit in the middle. Something like a honey badger that's lightweight. Something that works on these fantastic ball bearings. Something that has a shape with a little bit of belly. An acute tip. Somewhere in between. Thank goodness for the worn cleaver. Okay. Honey Badger Worn Cleaver. Um, I have the sticker over here because my kids' names are on here with love and then my kids' names. I got this one for Father's Day. Um, check out the full review on this one. Um, I see there's some gunk in here. I was carrying this one for a while and then I um, changed to the Rake Hussar. I was carrying that for the last few weeks um, as my everyday carry. And I've only recently moved over to this, my favorite new little EDC knife, um, Bestec Beluga. Um, I think we'll use this in our cooking video and then we'll do a full review on this sometime later. But this is a very nice knife. Anyway, we're talking about the Honey Badger Worn Cleaver. Look at this. We have a bit of belly. We still have the acute tip. We do not have the opener. The opener is fine. I have no problem with openers, but it's not my favorite thing. Um, I like taking the knife out of my pocket before opening it. And you can do it with this one if you're careful, but because of the action being so great, whenever I take this out of my pocket, it's open already. It looks like I'm ready for a fight. Um, now, if you're opening a package extremely quickly, or you're really, really hungry, and you have a craving, um, a lust for some bultong, then it's great. Pull the thing from your pocket, and it's ready to go. But... Yeah, I think this is the only knife I own with the opener. Yeah, I think this is the only knife I own with the opener. I'll have to look through everything. But I'm not really into the whole opener thing. Um, I know you can do the same thing to the honey badgers that people do to Kershaw's, or to Spider Coast, where you put the cable ties on them and then you flip them out of your pockets. Whatever. If that's for you, do it. Not a big fan. But I love this blade shape. But this one... If only we did not have a finger choil. I know finger choils are wonderful for carving up, but like I said, I live in South Africa. I eat a lot of bultong. It's actually very expensive, but yeah, it's, yeah. Anyway, um, but this one is the best jack-of-all-trades um, honey badger that you can find. The shape works for pretty much everything. It does everything you want it to do. This is a fantastic knife. Okay, so these two for specific needs, they are great. This one for everything. You will compromise on certain things, but 
unfortunately, there's no one size fits all knife in the world, something that works for everything. But I think um, if you don't like a, a large pocket knife like this, I think the medium worn cleaver will most likely be the best EDC for a budget EDC out there because I really love this thing. Um, and it's if you take the medium, it's not like the when we look at the red one. The big one, some people don't like the ones, some people don't like the twos, they say they are too small, but there's nothing in between. If you take the medium wound cleaver honey badger, I think that will be pretty much a one size fits all EDC knife for everybody. Okay, thank you for this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one.